Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, neurologist from Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very basic topic, the peripheral neuropathy and its etiology. The peripheral neuropathy and its etiology. Peripheral neuropathy, as the name suggests, it's a disorder of the peripheral nerves. Peripheral neuropathy is a disorder of peripheral nerves. So the peripheral nerves could be the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. The cranial nerves, we do not take first and second cranial nerve into consideration because they are the extension of the central nervous system. So only from the third to twelfth are the third to twelfth cranial nerves are the peripheral nerves. So the peripheral nerves includes the 3 to 12 cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. What is the etiology of peripheral neuropathy? Easy to remember is that according to the one third rule, one third causes of peripheral neuropathy is because of diabetes. So diabetes is the most important cause for peripheral neuropathy. One third, one third of peripheral neuropathy is due to, is due to other causes. And one third we do not know the cause, we call it as idiopathic. So for peripheral neuropathy, the most important cause is diabetes. One third of the causes of peripheral neuropathy is diabetes. One third of the causes of peripheral neuropathy is due to other causes. And one third of the causes of peripheral neuropathy we do not know, we call it as idiopathic. Right. But what is the breakup? What are all the causes of peripheral neuropathy? There are so many causes of peripheral neuropathy that it becomes difficult to remember. So we have a very interesting and easy mnemonic by which we can remember almost all the causes of peripheral neuropathy. The mnemonic is drug therapist. The mnemonic is drug therapist. Drug. D is for diabetes. As I said, diabetes is the most common cause of peripheral neuropathy. So it, it takes the first place. D for diabetes. R. R is for restricted nutrition. The nutrition could be vitamin B1, B6 or B12. Whatever may be the vitamin, when it is restricted, it is deficient, it can give rise to neuropathy. The third, a very common cause which we see is unlimited alcohol so if a person takes too much of alcohol it affects the nerves and causes peripheral neuropathy and fourth is g gulen barry syndrome gulen barry syndrome is an acute inflammatory demyelinative neuropathy it usually results from post as a post infectious cause usually preceded by campylobacter jejuni so these are the four common causes of peripheral neuropathy drug d for diabetes r for restricted nutrition that is deficiency of vitamin b1 b6 or b12 u is for unlimited alcohol that is with the history of alcoholism and g is for gulen barry syndrome the other causes can be remembered by the mnemonic therapist therapist t is for trauma or trap neuropathy it could be trauma or trapped neuropathy that is entrapment neuropathy either carpal tunnel syndrome where the median nerve gets entrapment or the other entrapped neuropathies h is for hereditary neuropathy that is the common cause of hereditary neuropathy is charcot marie tooth disease a e is for endocrine especially hypothyroidism hypothyroidism is very common and treatable cause R is for rheumatological, which can cause mononeuritis multiplex. A is for amyloid. Amyloid is also can cause neuropathy. P is for porphyria, where they have neuropathy, abdominal pain. They can have psychosis also. I is for infection. Especially in India, a common cause of infectious neuropathy is leprosy. So, we should always consider leprosy in areas where it is endemic. S for sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis. P is for toxins. 
especially as a neurologist, we give phenytoin as for as an anti-epileptic drug. So phenytoin itself can cause neuropathy. Persons may be having tuberculosis. We give anti-tuberculosis therapy, which includes INH. INH itself can cause vitamin B6, pyridoxine deficiency, and can cause neuropathy. So these are all the common causes of neuropathy. So there are many causes. It becomes difficult for anyone to remember all the causes of neuropathy. And therefore, if we follow the simple mnemonic, we'll be easily able to remember the causes of neuropathy. Drug therapist. D for diabetes, R for restricted nutrition, vitamin B1, B6, B12, U for unlimited alcohol, G for bullet barry syndrome, T for trauma or entrapment neuropathy, that is trapped neuropathy, H for hereditary neuropathy, E for endocrine hypothyroidism, R for rheumatological causes like mononeuritis multiplex, A for amyloidosis, P for porphyria, I for infection, especially leprosy, S for sarcoidosis, and T for toxins like phenytoin or INH causing vitamin B6 deficiency. So if we remember the mnemonic drug therapist, we can almost remember all the causes of neuropathy. I hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture. If you have any suggestions or comments, kindly post on to my YouTube channel. But please like and subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Sinuas Medical Concepts, and my FB page, Dr. Sinuas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.